Hello and welcome to the first in my series on the OCR A2 Chemistry Unit 1. We're talking about aromatic chemistry and we're basically talking about what is aromatic chemistry. Well, arenes, the compounds you are going to meet, are aromatic hydrocarbons containing one or more benzene rings. If you remember back from your Unit 2 studies, you will will probably come across the benzene ring. The benzene ring has six carbon atoms in its structure. It contains three double bonds and each carbon atom has one hydrogen atom bonded to it. And the position of the double bonds change constantly. So the circle is the best way to represent the movement of the double bonds rather than me just point putting small arrows around my diagram here. So the circle is the same as saying the double bond could be here, that double bond could be there, or that double bond could be there. So it's in constant rotation around this molecule. So the definition you've got to remember uh, aromatic any chemical compound that contains a benzene ring in its structure, molecular formula, the actual number of atoms in each element in the molecule, and empirical formula, the simplest whole number ratio of atoms for each element present in the compound. It's extremely important in benzene that you know that C6H6 is its molecular formula and its empirical formula is CH3. So benzene is quite basically the starting material for many aromatic compounds, ethyl benzene, phenols and st styrene, just some of the many chemicals that are made from benzene. Benzene is a colourless liquid with a sweet odour, i.e. this is why aromatic chemistry is called aromatic chemistry because odours we also be called aromas but it's also a carcinogen so it's very very toxic and you're never ever going to use real benzene in any practicals because of its volatile nature of volatile nature and it can kill you as well the killing part's not very fun so now we'll move on to different compounds that are based on benzene like nitrobenzene Bromobenzene, chlorobenzene, and ethyl ben benzene. So, if you look at the functional groups here, um, if one functional group is bonded to benzene on certain positions of the benzene ring, then it can be called one nitrobenzene or just nitrobenzene. If it was on the second carbon atom, it would be called two. If it was on the third, it would be three. If it was on the fourth, it would be four. And it just goes round like this, clockwise. You could go anti-clockwise, but clockwise is, is the standard way of thinking about it. Um, so this particular example would be one, four, methyl, bromo benzene as you're working your way clockwise around the carbon the, sorry, the benzene ring so all right all right methyl bromo benzene Methyl is on position 1 and the bromine is on position 4. And take this tick, th this one as well. This one would be 1 methyl, 2 bromo benzene. So naming the different compounds for benzene are quite straightforward and knowing this basic 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 um, 
think these basic structures could allow you to know more complex um, molecules which I'll talk about in another tutorial I hope you found this quick crash course rather helpful um, if not leave a, a co comment in the comment section because they're always always useful so thank you very much for watching